Okay, so the topic of the day is uh, web scraping uh, without using regex. Um, oh. Oh, oh. Yes, the agenda is very simple. Who, who am I, why uh, doing that, uh, scraping, and how, and uh, demos, a lot of demos. So, just a few words about me. Um, I, my name is uh, Arnaud Petitjean, I'm French. Uh, I'm a system architect and DevOps, and I'm also a PowerShell trainer and consultant uh, on my own. I'm uh, the author of several books, and uh, I'm the founder of the French-speaking community forum and website, which is PowerShell-scripting.com. And I've been um, an MVP recipient uh, on PowerShell uh, 12 times. Uh, and I worked on PowerShell since uh, it was called Monad. Uh, okay. Uh, this is just uh, the, the books I wrote, just to give you an, an idea. And I, I co-authored also a PowerShell Deep Dives with, with my fellow MVPs. Oh, that's, that's it for the slides. So, um, why? Why doing web scraping? So, um, I had um, a, a perfect uh, use case uh, that was uh, a friend of mine who, had, uh, who was a real estate agent and he was spending a lot of time every day uh, browsing uh, the internet to get uh, a new advertisement on new houses. Um, and uh, unfortunately, the, the website didn't offer any service to, to get notified when a new uh, a new advertisement was coming, given some criteria. So my friend asked me uh, to do some PowerShell scripting magic to get uh, notified whenever a new advertisement comes in, in order to free, 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 it, free him from spending too much time on, on the internet. So um, I, I did uh, like a proof of concept for uh, just the real estate category, and uh, it turns out it worked really well. So I decided to to code and to implement every category of uh, the website, and uh, I'm going to show you how I did that. Um, so first, uh, the website is a French website, which is called Le Bon Coin, which is um, like Craigslist, if you know, in the U.S., Craigslist and Le Bon Coin are websites when, where uh, any, anybody can let an advertisement. Uh, let's say you want to, to sell your car or you want to rent your apartment, your flat. Um, so it's really convenient and uh, this website is the first, uh, is the number one in France. So let's do some example. We are living in uh, the Paris area, and we, we want to buy a new car. So, for example, we want to buy a BMW X5. Okay, so which category? Every category? No, just uh, the cars. So, research. I can specify a price, a minimum price, maximum price, etc. So, the, the thing to note, is here is the URL. So um, the first the first challenge I had was to do some reverse engineering to be able for my script to generate uh, this URL uh, and to make my script uh, pass uh, the the URL like a regular browser. Otherwise the website detects this is a robot and uh, you, are, you are blocked. So that was the first challenge, do some reverse engineering in order to, to generate the URL and receive the, the HTML page. So this page uh, uh, is, uh, looks interesting, but uh, is really a complicated page. If we go to the uh, development tools and see um, the, the source code of the page, 
you will see it's really complex uh, because uh, there are JavaScript everywhere. Um, but all information is there. Uh, we, we don't see it in right here. I, I don't know why. I'm not a, a web developer expert. So anyway, it doesn't matter. You, you, you've seen the, the idea. So my script will get the raw HTML and then pass this page in order to get the title, the price, uh, the, category, the category, the location, and the, the date. And uh, the date. The date is not always like a, a good, uh, like a regular uh, date standard, you know. Aujourd'hui means today. So it's not the, day, the date of the day, it's just written today, and uh, you can see tomorrow, and um, what, etc. So, um, I'm going to show you now how I solved that. So, I have uh, some demos to show you. Uh, before diving too deep in the code, I would like to show you how it works. Um, so, first, I'm going to import my module Up. it's yeah is it better so i imported my my module that contains all my my comments uh, next I'm going to create a search. So uh, I, what I didn't tell you is that um, I have um, uh, a, database, a database behind that to store the, all my searches. So first, um, I'm going to create a search. Uh, it's maybe too small. As you can see, um, I have a a command which is new MPA research uh, that takes some arguments. Arguments are the title I want to get in my uh, in my mailbox because I I didn't say that uh, the notification are by, by mail, so I receive an email any any time um, a new research comes in, a, a new advertisement com comes in. So I can specify some crit criteria. So categories, minimum price, maximum price, the area, and uh, the last my the email address where to send the notification. So let's uh, let's uh, create. So it's not x5 but x6. It's okay too. Um, So I have just created a new research. So now, now I received an email in my mailbox saying I have registered a new, uh, a new search, which is a BMW X, X6 and uh, blah, 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 blah. OK, so for the information, this is a markdown converted into HTML. Uh, Okay, so now I have to uh, enable my research in order to, to get my research work. So, to activate my research, I have a command which is uh, get MPA research. So, my research has the ID 414. So, now I can use Enable MPA research dot I dash ID 414. So now my, uh, my research is activated. So then uh, I have a scheduled task that, that runs on an um, Azure machine. This is not an Azure function yet, but uh, I, I plan to, to convert that into a, um, an Azure function. So now, the next time my scheduled task will trigger, uh, this search uh, will, be, uh, will be crawled. So if I want to force it in order to, 
to to get um, to not wait until the next uh, trigger time. I can do it. Oh, yes. So now the magic is is uh, is working. I'm getting the the raw HTML, and I'm passing the raw HTML, and uh, I'm going to show you how. So uh, it seems you just found one one result. So let's see if I received an email. Okay, I received an email. Oh, no. I received an email just stating that um, this is the last uh, advertisement published, and uh, now your research is on, is, uh, on the system. And next time somebody publish uh, a BMW X6 that corresponds to your criteria, you will be notified by email. So I can show you, um, for example, uh, other notifications. Uh, for example, I, I was seeking for uh, a land to buy a new house, so I, uh, I created a, a research uh, uh, for a land. And uh, uh, here you can see we have a, a, new, a new land, a new advertisement, and a second one, uh, the price uh, was in change, was the same. That means... I record every advertisement on the database, and I am able to compare the price between uh, every execution. So how can I do that? That's pretty simple. Uh, I calculate a hash on the um, main image, and I compare the hash. If somebody publishes the same advertisement on the same location with the same hash for the image, but at, the, at, at a different price, I'm able to, to, to catch the, the difference and to notify that. So here the, same, the price is the same, but sometimes the price is going down. So here uh, it was a, a Z-Wave uh, advertisement because I'm interested in domotic, and um, the price dropped from uh, lost five euros, so I, I've been notified. Okay. So, uh, we, I have two minutes to, to show you um, the code now. It's very quick. Uh, let, so, okay. So, how can I do that? Um, um, so, let's, let's do that. Here. So uh, imagine I copy and paste the URL in, in my browser here, and I stored it in the dollar URI um, or, uh, variable. Well, I, I, can, I can do that. No, that's the same. Copy, paste, dollar URI. So now I'm going to, to call... Uh, a function I wrote, which is called get row and announce. So now, this is using invoke web request to download the web page. So I got row uh, HTML. Uh, row HTML is, is nice, but uh, it's not so nice to parse. So I'm using uh, a tool which is called HTML Agility Pack which uh, prevents me to use regex and complex regex because, as you can imagine, if um, the website changes the design, that can break my script. So with uh, HTML Agility Pack, uh, this tool takes uh, an HTML page in input and generates um, like a tree you can parse with uh, XSLT and XPath syntax, if you know uh, how to use XPath. Um, so that's uh, the beauty of HTML Agility Pack. So um, let's do it. 
I don't have time to go in the HTML page to show you uh, how. Huh. Copy, paste. Uh, so trust me, um, this uh, syntax is a, an XPath syntax that's uh, stating gets me every A element. Uh, a element is a link uh, that belongs to class clearfix trackable. So um, every advertisement is from this class. So if I uh, now, if I... As I using as I sorry, <laughs> as I used the um, HTML agility pack, as you can see, 35 is the name the number of the announcement on, on the HTML page. Um, I can observe um, how the object is made. So, first ID. Zero. So this is much better than uh, raw HTML, but you have still raw HTML for each advertisement. So you can uh, still use regex if you if you want, or if you are more comfortable using regex instead of XPath, you can st you you can still do it. So uh, attributes is interesting because uh, it breaks down every attribute. So I have, uh, for example, the title. And the title? Yes, uh, I, I have to stop my uh, now because uh, my time is, is over. So voilà. voilà, value, this is the title of my advertisement. And uh, I have um, also the ability to get the, the thumbnail of the picture, the price, and everything. So if you, I, I have to stop now. But uh, if you want more information, you can grab me, get me at the at the, the next pose. Thank you for watching.